this is Celia Capito. I worked with Alonzo and Elise to create our projection scenario. We chose to be the Central Intelligence Agency, also known as the CIA, and to report on North Korea. First, Alonzo will explain the history of North Korea and why it is a threat to the United States today. He will also discuss the three forces that we think are the biggest threats to the United States. Then, Elise will reveal three scenarios and show the one we chose to present to the National Security Council. Thank you for listening, and I hope you enjoy our presentation. Hello everyone, I'm Alonso. I'm going to be explaining North Korea's past and its transition to the present. After World War II, North Korea, just like Germany, was divided into two, North Korea and South Korea. North Korea was backed by the Soviet Union, and South Korea was backed by the U.S. and its allies. In 1950, North Korea invaded South Korea, and the Korean War started. It is important to mention that China helped North Korea during the war. In 1953, the Korean War came to an end, an armistice was signed, and a military zone was established. Since 1953, when the Korean War ended up to today, hostilities between North and South Korea have prevailed. Throughout the 70s and 80s, North Korea started developing weapons of mass destruction and intercontinental ballistic missiles. In 1985, North Korea joined the Non-Proliferation Act, which is intended to keep a country free of weapons of mass destruction. In 1993, North Korea is accused of violating the Non-Proliferation Act and threatens to resign. Five years after that, Kim Jong-il comes into power. Kim Jong-il declares Songun, which is called a military first type of government, that transitions North Korea from a communist government to a military dictatorship. All throughout the 90s and the 2000s, North Korea continued testing intercontinental ballistic missiles and weapons of mass destruction, disregarding international warnings. The most recent intercontinental ballistic missile test that North Korea did was on July 28, and experts estimate that the missile they tested could possibly reach Alaska. When making our analysis on North Korea, we decided that we have three main forces or variables acting upon our target. The first one is missile tests and the range. North Korea's missile program has been advancing exponentially in the last years. The second force or variable that we are looking upon is civil injustice. North Korea has proven a consistent record of restricting basic human rights to their citizens, which goes against American values. North Korea's constant opposition to basic American values has created tension between these two countries and has created repeated hostilities. The third factor is a possible invasion of South Korea. North Korea has shown hostility to South Korea since the end of the Korean War. Their stance against South Korea is firm, and they consider them their number one enemy, and the U.S. their second enemy. The threat that North Korea poses to South Korea is of high priority because South Korea is a U.S. ally and we must protect our allies. Analysis in North Korea's actions depend on the consistency of these three factors and where they increase or decrease in the next upcoming years. In our presentation, we're going to analyze these factors and we're going to create three scenarios depending on the rate of the increase or decrease of these three forces acting on our target. The next three slides go more in depth about these three forces. This slide explains North Korea's history of weapons. The CIA believes this factor will only increase in importance due to advancements of the nuclear program in North Korea. This slide explains the civil injustice that is in North Korea. The CIA predicts that this factor will not change while the regime is still intact. This slide explains possible invasion of South Korea. The CIA believes North Korea will try to invade South Korea in the future. CIA Projection Scenario A projection scenario is an estimate or forecast of a future situation or trend based on the study of present ones. Due to the recent increase of missile tests, the CIA believes that North Korea will continue to advance their missiles and other weapons until it can successfully reach major parts of the U.S. while causing significant damage. This will most likely take more time until they reach their desired goals. We believe that after the primary attacks on the U.S. by North Korea, the U.S. Congress will declare war. North Korea will continue to strike the U.S. while attempting to invade South Korea. 
Some have predicted that the American people will be divided over whether or not we put troops on the ground to defend South Korea. This is based off the current situation in the Middle East and many citizens being concerned about putting U.S. troops in danger. But we project that putting troops on the ground is imperative to defeating North Korea. CIA Forecasting Scenario A forecasting scenario is based off what is expected to happen if the current forces are changed and new forces are added. When North Korea tested their new, very powerful missile, a problem occurred. The missile went haywire and did not respond to the programmer's instructions. The missile hit one of China's biggest military bases, Zahuri, which is just 400 kilometers northwest of Beijing. China showed their displeasure by stopping all economic trade with North Korea. This immediately caused a huge upset in North Korea as 80% of their economic relations are with China. Because of the huge depression... North Korea was now facing, Kim Jong-un was forced to open up trade with the United States. The U.S. agreed to open trade with North Korea if they gave up all their nuclear weapons. To keep relations with China intact, the U.S. also demanded that all weapons with missile capabilities be handed over to China. Now, North Korea no longer poses a threat to the United States. Also, because of the arrangement with China, the U.S. and China are allies and neither pose a security threat to the other. Because of all the new trading relations with the U.S., North Korea has been forced to shut down all internment camps with the help of U.S. aid. The humanitarian crisis is significantly better. CIA Extrapolation Scenario An extrapolation scenario is a statement of what is expected to happen based only on past observations. They are usually accurate in the short run. Considering that Force 1, North Korea's ICBM and WMD, and Force 2, North Korea's hostility towards the U.S., maintain the same magnitude and direction, the threat that North Korea presents to the U.S. will keep increasing exponentially. Shown in the graph on the next slide, based on the forces acting, it is clear that North Korea's ICBM capability has been rising exponentially in the past couple of years, and will keep rising at an accelerated rate. The CIA has chosen the most likely scenario out of the three previously mentioned. The scenario that will be presented to the National Security Council is the projection scenario that foresees war with North Korea after a period of time. This is most likely due to the similarities this conflict has with previous situations that the U.S. has been involved in because it includes actions that the U.S. is likely to take. For example, Congress declaring war after an initial attack. End of CIA document.